Hi there guys, I'm Bo Lorenzen, the FPV guy. Today I'm at CES 2016 in Las Vegas and I'm at the Nine Eagles booth. I notice a lot of people are walking back and forth and missing completely that Nine Eagles has been making helicopters for years. Personally, I feel I have probably contributed to build this amazing booth because I have flown so many Nine Eagles helicopters throughout the years. Now, I'm at the booth right here and they're coming out with a brand new line that is a modern consumer product called MOLA. MOLA is going to deliver products that can be flown by a smartphone or by a traditional controller. And one of the most innovative or imaginative products that they expect to have ready to test sometime in April is the new folder. This is a nice little setup right here with motors built in and to fly it what you do is just twist it open and here is your traditional quad. Now it's not just stopping there, when you fold it open the legs pops out of the bottom. It, down here it has an ultrasonic sensor, it has a drift camera so that it can stay in position. It's got a GPS on top and right here is the best feature that's not yet quite working. But this is you push this and it pops out and it drops down a stabilized camera. So this little unit that goes together, slides out and protects the propellers, gives you a complete selfie aerial flying camera, put it around, pop out the camera and you're ready to go. I'm really fascinated with it because lately I'm tired of enormous drones. These are becoming appliances. This is something people going on vacation are gonna be buying. Not people like me that is a drone enthusiast. I know how to fly these things, but most people do not know how to fly these things. And because of that, the Mola brand is gonna be bringing a lot more convenience to those people. Now, this is of course the innovative thing, really looking into the future. Let's look a little closer to now. They have a couple of other ones I like. There is a small entry level multi-rotor here. It's a quad with a three axis gimbal. And the usual suspect, you pull, push in and out batteries. Really not a whole lot of new here. It is nicely made. It's gonna be flying nicely. But what I really fell in love with was their traveler. Actually, it's called the tourist, but I called it the traveler just to be different. And here is the tourist. What is cool about the tourist, I mean, all right, somebody has been looking at the Inspire, but unlike the Inspire, this thing is incredibly light. It's 900 grams. Up on top here, we have the pop-out battery. It goes right down and gives it a little short of 20 minutes. I'm guessing reality is gonna be 15 minutes. We've got twist on and twist off propellers right here, smaller motors, and we have the usual suspension system that takes some of the energy out if you land a little hard. Interestingly, they have chosen to retract the camera. So once you get in the air, and it has a little ultrasonic sensor right here, when you get some distance, it's gonna drop the camera down so that you can see without getting the propellers in the picture. Up front here, they also have an ultrasonic sensor right here that goes five feet out into the, in front of it. And it's because there's GPS, if you're flying and it discovers anything in front, it will stop. So that's gonna prevent you from running into stuff because this is gonna stop it right here. Now, the other thing I'm a sucker for because these things are so hard to travel, and I know a lot of you guys using Phantoms and Q350s and so many other units, the hardest thing is traveling with them. You end up with these enormous backpacks. And this, I'm just gonna unscrew this completely. Look, notice that little sleeve here? I'm gonna do it again on this one. I'm actually getting a workout from on doing all these. Folds right up here, folds down here. Let's do the other side too. There. And now you just move the, remove the propellers and now you're ready to travel with this thing. It goes right into the little vertical carry case. And notice how small this is. It is again very, very small, but when it was unfolded, it was about a 400 size multi-rotor. So it's a large 900 gram, easy to travel with, modular battery, very easy to operate multi-rotor. I better unfold this again because otherwise somebody's gonna be talking to me about leaving their stuff. There we go. So here is the full size. I would say it's about a 350 size that I'm looking at right here with the front ultrasonic 
obstacle avoidance or at least obstacle protection system. Now finally, it does come with a radio. You can get it just like it is and fly it with a smartphone, or you can buy the radio, which takes your smartphone, it streams Wi-Fi to the smartphone, and you can control the aircraft from the radio for more complex flying than what you would be doing with a smartphone. So that is the new tourist from Mola, which is in reality Nine Eagles and has been around since 2004. So there's a lot of history in Nine Eagles. And that right there, I think is an important part when you select a new drone in this market. You want to get in with somebody that has been making products for quite a while. I do like the design. It's obviously borrowing some design ideas to be generous, but it's a nice design that's going to be easy to work with. We should be seeing these and get a test flight sometimes in April. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Right here, click subscribe. And also visit my blog at fpvguide.com.